Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today we're going to talk about my story and basically 3D printing um, and how it fit into my life. So, hope you guys stick around. We'll see you guys inside. Hello and welcome to today's video. Today's video, like I said, it's going to be a little bit different. We're not going to print anything. So, right now, saying that right up front, we're not going to print anything. We're going to talk about 3D printing. But we're not going to do anything actually towards 3D printing. Um, the reason why, I've actually been asked to do this video a couple times. And it's kind of one of those things. I want to welcome everybody that's been here, uh, that's been supporting the channel. If you're new, welcome. Um, make sure you hit the subscribe button if you're interested in 3D printing and learning and doing more with it. Because um, that's definitely what we teach here and what we do. So, um, I kind of wanted to talk about me. Um and kind of the story that got me to where I am right now. And it's important to tell this story because you're, if you're coming to watch the video, you are watching me do things, um, whether you're trying to solve a problem or do that, but how do I get to where I've solved that problem to help you? And where do I fit into the three printing world into my life and even you know, out here on YouTube and different things like that. So I kind of wanted to talk about the story and, um, you know, just kind of share with you guys a little bit of a one on one of why this channel even exists. So we're going to kind of start out with that. Um, if you're new here, please subscribe. Um, if you're here, thank you for subscribing. Um, we're growing strong. We're getting close to 2,700 subscribers, which is amazing. Um, you know, this has kind of been something I, wa I wanted to do. Um, you know, I grew up in Missouri. Um, I grew up in a fairly, uh, back then it was maybe a 20,000 person town. Um, but we would commute on weekends and go to my grandparents where we grew up on the farm. Um, we were dairy farmers, um, so worked cattle, worked fields, grew up through that. Um, high school, I went to college, um, instead of the military, I graduated class in 2002, so it was kind of one of those things. If I had gone to the military, I would have gone to either probably Iraq, Afghanistan, one of those theaters, and spent time there, and who knows what would happen if that had been the reality, but that's always a what if, that's not what happened, instead I went to college. Um, I actually have completed four college diplomas, um, all the way up to my master's degree. And I went into social service first. Um, I did a bachelor in psychology. And I did social services first. And realized it just was not a fit for me. It was a terrible, terrible place for me to be. Um, so I went back and went into computers. Um, I've been an IT engineer for over, over 15 years now. Uh, surprisingly, I've done it for that long. And it's one of those things, computers, I always, Growing up, I always played computer games. Uh, you guys can see behind me, I'm a big Star Trek nerd, Star Wars, science fiction. So I always kind of played those games, really big into Command and Conquer, different things like that. And it was kind of one of those things, never had a lot of money growing up, um, or as a young man. Uh, I was, I'm not good with money. So kind of one of those things. Um, my parents were so supportive. Um, I cannot thank them enough for the childhood that they gave me. It was a good one. They taught me hard work. They taught me responsibility. And, you know, I, I, was, I got married fairly young to my first wife, um, had a daughter, which loved my daughter to death, but um, went through a divorce, um, tried doing a gaming channel, just Rise of the Phoenix. It's still out there. I don't post, every once in a while I'll go post over there. Um, I don't post there very often. It's a very small channel. Um, doesn't do much um, anymore. But it's one of those things, I met my current wife, Megan, which you've seen on the channel if you've seen some of the videos. And um, we were working together at the same company for a little while. Then I went off and worked another company that ran me into the ground. Um, I was working 50, 60 hour weeks. Um, and just, it was the same thing over and over again. It was always IT problems. And when I come home, it's IT problems. And just kind of one of those things, you know, burnout is a real thing that everybody goes through. Depression, different things like that, that kind of get into you. and. I was looking for a way to be creative, to innovate, make something, and actually just, you know, make things. Because um, that's something I enjoy, is just making something. 
whether it's a Star Trek model, it's a hook for a pegboard, I created that. I made that. I may have done all the stuff through Cura. I may not have made the model, but you know what? I made it print. And that was really fulfilling to me. And we had just gotten our house. We were getting ready to get married. Um, this was three years ago. Uh, three, maybe, three, maybe four. Um, we were just getting ready to get married and things were, you know, we were trying to buy things for the wedding and, you know, I had the printer sitting down here and I hadn't worked with it all that much. Um, a guy that I was working with, he actually showed me the first 3D printer, which is actually the Ender 2 that is back in my shop. I actually bought it from him. Um, and he showed me that and I was like, wow, this is really cool. So I bought a printer. And we were Googling around and we found wedding decorations and stuff that were going to save us a ton of money for our wedding. I printed the bowls for the M&M candy bar because Mike and Megan, M&M, um, you know, and we were, we were working for the Mars Corporation at the time. So M&M, Skittles, you know, we kind of did all that cool stuff. And it was one of those things, I had fun 3D printing. It was just a hobby, just a toy, basically. And I you know I couldn't print very big things. I was working with an Ender 3, so, you know, I could print things easily like this Millennium Falcon and you know some Star Destroyers and some Star Trek ships you know the Enterprise you know just things like that to toy with to print and play with uh, and paint um, which I'm trying to get more into painting right now and it's being difficult for me because it's just time time consuming but it started off with the wedding and you know I made a lot of neat stuff for the wedding it was really fun to do it um, it actually led to me getting my second printer so I could get everything done for the wedding. And I was still at that company and, the, you know, the guy and I were friends and then COVID hit. <coughs> uh, <coughs> COVID rocked our world. So the first couple months were fine. Work from home, doing our thing. And my company downsized. But right before that, we had decided I wanted to teach. I wanted to take this creativity out and show it to others. So in June of 20, was it June of 20? Yeah, June of 2020, we launched the channel, the first few episodes uh, with some of the new printers that we had gotten and different things to kind of start teaching people how to fix their printers and different things like that. Because one of the things that bothered me was I kept seeing printers on Facebook Marketplace. And it was always the same reasons. I don't have time for this. I couldn't figure it out. I just don't want to do this and sell on the printer. And one time I got on there, there were like 40 printers on there for sale. And I'm in, I'm in a fairly large city and this was all within 50 miles of me. Well, something's wrong here. It's not that hard to do this. I may be a computer engineer. I may know construction and different things like that. And yeah, it may be easier for me, but it's honestly, it's not that hard to do this once you have a laid out plan on what you want to do. Um, so that's when I talked to my wife, we got our first few cameras and got our initial setup and we started this. And it has grown and it has only grown because of you guys. Um, watching, asking questions, and honestly, just subscribing, uh, using the Amazon affiliate links down there. All that stuff has really helped us build this channel and keep it growing. And it, it's almost a dare um, every week for the new episode of what can I make bigger? What can I make stronger? What can I make fancier? Because um, initially I started this channel with four printers and we're at 12 now um, because product deals, different things like that. Companies wanting me to try printers and also just printers to keep up. Uh, production to be able to do this weekly and show you guys new models um, has been a been a real challenge um, and I had actually planned on bringing Thor's hammer today um, but I put it back a week because I'm trying to actually paint and finish that one um, for Halloween and it's kind of one of those cool things Halloween's coming this is one of the great times Christmas is coming it's one of the great times to get a printer and get started but getting started was one of the hardest things for me to do, especially with getting this channel started. I had to really discipline myself to make sure I'm bringing things that you guys need, looking at what other people have done and making sure you get all the bits and pieces. And there's sometimes I don't even give you all the bits and pieces because maybe there's just too much and um, getting it put together. But basically this channel went from a hobby to this is my second, this is my second job. Um, during the day, I, 
day, Monday through Friday, sometimes Saturday and Sunday, I'm an IT engineer. I'm working on servers, I'm doing stuff all over. Um, some of the clients I work with are global. So um, who knows when I'm working. But this is where a lot of my creativity and different types of forms of my passion have come to, is coming over here and creating stuff for you. This is where I have fun. And that's something that I definitely want to keep bringing to you. Um, so the channel, it's growing, and I'm very thankful for that. Um, and honestly, a little surprised that it's growing. But one of the things, too, I need to reach out to you guys and make sure you know we're doing what you guys would like to see. So those comments down below are extremely important, giving those ideas. You may not get, you may give the idea, and it, it may be months till I actually get to it, but the idea is sewn there. And that is something I very much appreciate, you guys, is that we've gone on this journey and keep going on this journey. I don't plan on stopping the channel anytime soon um, or changing the channel anytime soon. So um, that's kind of my story of how we got here. Why I do what I do is because I want to keep you guys printing. I want to teach you how to print and make it easy so you do want to print and do this out in the world and for your friends. So. I hope you guys enjoyed kind of this heart to heart video a little bit. If this is something you'd like to see where I'm more talking about the stories, um, I do have some upcoming ideas for the channel. Um, we're actually going to start talking to some companies and start looking at where 3D printing is in the world instead of me just printing something and doing it how to. Kind of just look at what else is going on in the environment, whether it's a medical app, you know, applying 3D printing to medical applications, applying it to, I mean, come on, there's a 3D printer on ISS Space Station up there on Freedom. So, and, you know, that's been something that's pretty awesome is they sent a file up. The guy printed the wrench he needed and fixed a problem on the station. So these printers aren't going away. The technology is catching up and it's advancing as we move into, you know, I focus more in resin, plastic, and more resin stuff is coming uh, as soon as I get the camera to work right. Um, hopefully we'll start having some time lapses of some cool resin prints. But basically my goal with what I do here is to get you started, keep you going, and work with you guys. So if you've got questions or problems or anything like that, leave it down in the comments below. If you don't want everybody to see it, my email address is on the YouTube page. Shoot me an email. I'm glad to help out. So again, if you like the content, hit that subscribe button. Thank you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I know it's very different and just kind of me talking about the world out there uh, and how I kind of fit into this. So I hope you guys enjoyed and we'll see you guys next week in the next video.